Assalamu alaikum guys and welcome to my great grandfather Ali Kemal on Smart to Jannah. Smart to Jannah. There was a time when decency and talent would be the reason for your rise to fame. But we clearly got bored of that and now we make controversial and stupid people famous. Here are the touching scenes of Boris Johnson becoming Prime Minister of the UK. Uh, so emotional you know, really uh... But to be fair even he didn't think he would become PM ever. My realistic chances of becoming Prime Minister are only, only slightly better than my chances of being decapitated by a frisbee. I mean ever. Blinded by a champagne cork lo locked in a disused fridge. Like in a million years ever. Or reincarnated as an olive so. Sounds like he's describing the likelihood of positive change actually happening under him. Although the process was clearly undemocratic yeah. It horrifies me Mr Speaker that the new Prime Minister finds his position through such an undemocratic process. Chances are if there was a vote he probably would have got voted in anyway. Now I'm basing this upon the continued successes of the far right. Case in point Modi, Trump, Salvini. He was brought up in privilege. He was Eton and Oxford educated so naturally his interests are going to be for the elites and in particular the banks. Can you think of anybody who stuck up for the bankers as much as I did? I, I, I defended them uh, day in day out. I think he's well known now for his racist, islamophobic and homophobic comments. I think he was wrong to have used that language. Which he doesn't even have the shame to retract. Be would you ever a, use those words again? Oppressive, uh, yes of course I would. Which has warranted him the much deserved title oh, of the British shame. Trump. They're saying Britain Trump. Some take comfort in the fact that his great grandfather was a Turkish Muslim who supposedly was a Hafiz as well. My great grandfather Ali Kemal could not only read this whole thing but he actually knew it all off by heart. It's amazing. But such people are clearly ignoramuses. I mean Prince Charles, he's a descendant of Vlad the Impaler in modern terms known as Dracula. <laughs> The genealogy shows that I'm descended from Vlad the Impaler. The royal family has German roots to such a degree that their family name until World War I was Saxe Coburg Gotha. But because of the anti German sentiment, they changed it to the House of Windsor. Or if we look at the Queen's heritage, some have gone as far as claiming that she is from the lineage of the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. So clearly heritage doesn't mean much. Hey stop being negative let's give him a chance. Yeah sure let's let the fire burn and see what happens. Oh darn it's burned down the whole house only if we stopped it when it had started and not just observed. I mean to illustrate this point he's appointed Preeti Patel as the defence secretary of the UK. Now Preeti Patel was sacked for holding secret meetings with the president of Israel and also directing UK aid money which was supposed to go to worthy causes to the Israeli army. Plus the fact that she's brown and she's a woman so it fulfills that quota as well. This reminds me of a powerful quote, the only thing necessary for the triumph of evil is for good men to do nothing. Inshallah this will inspire us to learn more about our religion, be more active in removing misconceptions through primarily our actions and then our talk and developing our language and knowledge so we're able to articulate ourselves properly. And of course most importantly practice our religion. When we're going away from our purpose guys we're just gonna suffer and now not only are we suffering the people around us are suffering due to our laziness. Until next time guys, Salaamu Alaikum.